Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another Star Wars SH Figure Arts action figure review. Uh, looking at Count Dooku today, I uh, got this one uh, almost a week ago. Um, was really excited, I pre-ordered this thing. Um, since then I've seen a lot of people, um, there's a couple of SH Figure Arts groups, one of them. Um, a lot of people really weren't that happy with this figure. Um, and I kind of see the gripes, but it's the first six inch figure. Um, of Count Dooku we've had. Hasbro haven't quite hit it yet, although there are rumours of that surfacing. Um, but SH Figure Arts Bandai beat them to the punch, and uh, this is what we've got. And uh, I'm, I'm actually really, really impressed with this figure. I, I really like it a lot. It's been a long time since we've had a Count Dooku figure um, come out, save for the Hot Toys, which I'm not sure it's actually come out yet, or whether it's still... Um, in pre-production um, and up for pre-order through websites and stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But we're going to have to take a look at this one because this one is pretty sweet. Um, it did come in a brown shipper box as well. Um, but it does come with the uh, closed, closed box as opposed to the window box. Um, I think that means it's an online retailer exclusive. I'm not sure, but... He looks great. Some great shots on the back. Um, I think the th thing that most people were disappointed with was the colour of his outfit. And compared to where it is there, um, it's a lot light lighter in, in person. But I, I dare say this photo was sort of taken under different light lighting circumstances. Um, and I've seen some people actually weather it up and make it look quite quite good. They've gone and repainted it all, which is far more work than I want to put into it because I'm quite happy with the figure. Um, and there is a small piece of string on the back of the cape that sort of folds that back and holds it in place. I've seen a lot of people cut that. And uh, it does look quite good. But uh, that's the box, so let's go and take a look at the figure. Um, I'll just put him in the middle here because we'll get a look at his accessories first. It's so obviously in his hands he's holding his lit lightsaber blade, which, while well, I've got that, can be unpegged just, just for ease of access by putting it in the uh, gripping hands. Uh, I have found this to be a little bit loose. It does hold in there well, but it doesn't take much to bump it out either. So I'm really going to consider gluing that one in. And uh, being that it's in a slightly open loose hand, it's not too hard to get in and out. So I'm probably going to glue that just because it's... It does. Yeah, there we go. It takes a little bit, but it's it's far easier than than there are than with other figures. So I decided I might glue that one in. All right, so we get the unlit hilt. And, uh, Count Dooku's lightsaber is one of my favourites. I've got to say, um, just that curved hilt. Um, there is a peg there, which will attach. There goes the blade again. Will attach to his belt. Display like so, that looks quite good. Comes with four pairs of hands. So I've got one fist on him at the moment. There's the other fist. It's got two, two open palmed hands. He's got two gripping hands. Obviously the other one is on the figure. And we've got two Force Lightning open hands, which looks great. Um, just that's that's a fantastic addition. They, they look really nice. I like the way the fingers are sort of bent and the two in the middle are joined together. No, yeah, they've done a really good job with these. I think they look great. Um, I have sort of put them on the figure just to sort of see what it looks like. Um, I prefer them with a lightsaber pose but you know for our alternate figure shots which I plan on doing very soon I will definitely be using these they look great um, especially when Yoda comes in eventually um, and lastly he has an interchangeable head which I just caught and you should have seen it, it was miraculous um, I'm going to pop this head off of the figure so we can get a look because it's slight, ever so slightly different I don't know that they're different enough to justify doing two separate head sculpts. So they're not overly 
overly different. Would have preferred one with a bit more of an aggressive looking tone. I guess this one is pretty close, but a little bit more of a aggressive uh, look on his face, whereas this one's quite sort of that regal diplomatic look about him. And, uh, I think I like the one on the left better. It's the one I've had on him for most of the time at this stage. But they're not entirely different, so there's a little bit of difference in the eyes, perhaps. But either or, either or they're, uh, they're both a pretty great likeness to Christopher Lee. And, uh, they've done a good job. So I'm going to pop that one back on. And now we'll get a look at the figure. So he's quite impressive. I'm, I'm a big fan of this figure. As I said, I know a lot of people aren't, and that's fine. Um, I'm glad to, I'm really glad to have him in the collection. Uh, the soft goods is something that absolutely blew me away. Um, start off just up here. So we got his little clasps. They actually peg into the chest. But there's this little, small little metal chain in the middle there. That looks great. The cape, the way it sort of folds over the back. As I was talking about that small little piece of thread in there, you could snip that and have the cave a bit more free-flowing over the front. So there's a, quite a few more threads in there. And you'd have to unpick that entire line of stitching now that I look at it a bit closer. Yeah, it looks like that's the case. I could be wrong. Yeah, you'd have to unpick that whole line of stitching there, which I'm not going to do. Um, I'm, I'm quite quite impressed with this cape. It um, comes in two layers. So we've got... It's a nice big piece. Love this sort of glossy fabric on the inside. This almost satin look. It's the same with the brown on the inside. It looks, it looks great. It's sewn really nicely. Flows really well. Um, I've seen people add wiring to it, which looks in absolutely incredible. They've been able to pose it so it's sort of flying out the side like that. It looks great. Um, some people have done a really good job of adding wires and stuff to this to this cape. Um, one gripe is particularly the mould up here. Um, we've seen a few figures with this style articulation that have probably been a little bit more convincing, um, a little bit more forgiving in the mould. Um, in terms of, you know, being able to combine it, make it look a little bit tidier, as opposed to having a big line across there, but that's fine. Simple, simple looking belt. It almost asks for a little bit more detail, but that's fine as well. Um, I do like this soft part here that's you know, allows for that leg articulation so you can spread them out a little bit and it has it on the back too so it sort of overlaps and just allows for that little bit of extra movement with those hips. Pretty simple black boots. And they look good too. Full range of uh, SH figure art style articulation as well. I will learn what they're all called one day but I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I've been putting up some shots on my Instagram of this guy with uh, a couple of other figures, namely the Anakin Obi one from Revenge of the Sith. But uh, I really dig it. It's a nice looking figure. No doubt Hasbro will do a six inch Count Dooku in the coming years I'm sure and if the uh, rumors are true we'll be getting one pretty soon so look forward to seeing what they do and that brings this one to an end I hope you've enjoyed watching this video um, hope I've shown it well enough for you guys to make a good judgment on this figure and uh, look forward to recording again soon until next time guys may the force be with you